वेलकम टू एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड व्हाट आर द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव ट्रेट्स ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन ग्लोबलाइजेशन इट मींस इंटीग्रेटिंग द नेशनल इकोनॉमी विद द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी थ्रू रिमूवल ऑफ बैरियर्स ऑन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एंड कैपिटल मूवमेंट्स इट इज द आउटकम ऑफ द पॉलिसीज ऑफ लिबरलाइजेशन एंड प्राइवेटाइजेशन Globalization is generally understood to mean integration of the economy of the country with the world economy. However, it is a complex phenomenon. It is an outcome of the set of various policies that aim to transform the world towards greater independence and integration. It involves creation of networks and activities transcending economic, social and geographical boundaries. so we can say that in short globalization aims to create a borderless world now what are the changes made by the globalization in the indian economy the new economic policy that is nep prepared a specified list of high technology and high investment priority industries in which automatic permission will be available for foreign direct investment up to 51% of foreign equity in respect of foreign technology agreements automatic permission is provided in high priority industry up to a sum of rupees 1 crore no permission is now required for hiring foreign technicians or for testing indigenously developed technology abroad in order to make international adjustments of indian currency rupee was devalued in july 1991 by nearly 20% it stimulated exports discouraged imports and raised the influx of foreign capital to integrate indian economy with world the union budget 1992 to 93 made indian rupee partially convertible and then the rupee was made fully convertible in 1993 to 94 budget a new five year export import policy that is in 1992 to 97 was announced by the government to establish the framework of globalization of india's foreign trade the policy removed all restrictions and controls on the external trade and allowed market forces to play a greater role in respect of exports and imports and in order to bring the indian economy within the ambit of global competition the government has modified the customs duty to a considerable extent accordingly the peak rate of custom duty has been reduced from 250% to 10% in 2007 to 2008 budget so these are the some changes which are made by the globalization in the indian economy now we come to the positive and negative traits of globalization the process of globalization through liberalization and privatization policies have produced positive as well as negative results both for india and other countries first we will discuss in favor of globalization globalization resulted in firstly greater access to global markets secondly advanced technology and third better future prospects for large industries of developing countries to become important players in the international arena now there are some negative traits of globalization also so globalization has been criticized by some scholar because according to them benefits of globalization accrue more to developed countries as they are able to expand their markets in other countries globalization compromises the welfare and identity of people belonging to poor countries and lastly market driven globalization increases the economic disparities among nations and people so these are the positive and negative traits of globalization which was the outcome of the policies of liberalization and privatization next we come to outsourcing outsourcing refers to contracting out some of its activities to a third party which were earlier performed by the organization for example many companies have started outsourcing security service to outside agencies 
on a contractual basis. Outsourcing is one of the important outcomes of the globalization process. It has intensified in recent times because of the growth of fast modes of communication, particularly the growth of information technology, that is IT industry. With the help of modern telecommunication links, the text, voice, and visual data, in respect of these services, it's digitized and transmitted in real time over continents and national boundaries. India has become a favorable destination of outsourcing for most of the MNCs because of low wage rates and availability of skilled manpower. For example, Indian Business Process Outsourcing, that is also called BPO, companies are already gaining prominence and earning precious foreign exchange. Some of the services which are outsourced to Indian include voice-based business processes known as BP or call centers, record keeping, accountancy, banking services, music recording, film editing, book transcription, clinical advices, etc. So these are some of the services which are outsourced to India. And outsourcing is the outcome of globalization. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.